Um, am I the only one freaking out that we could have an orbital launch attempt next month? But there's a catch. I don't know if you guys have been on Twitter lately. I know not everyone is on Twitter, but Elon Musk is asking for our help. We have about a week to submit our opinions and comments to the FAA. And this is because it has been announced that Elon Musk would like to have an orbital launch attempt next month, November, but it is pending regulatory approval. So he says that getting your comments into the FAA really makes a difference, getting your opinion. So I wanted to hop on here and remind you guys how to do that. Here is the address. You can mail it to Miss Stacy Z. That is the SpaceX PEA. And that address is in Fairfax, Virginia here on the screen. You can also submit comments by email to SpaceXBocaChica at icf.com. And I wanted to share a little bit of this video that SpaceX shared, Elon retweeted it, and it is of course of Boca Chica Starbase and some time lapse of the work that's going on there, just stunning footage. So again, if you guys get a chance, make sure to leave your comments with the FAA. Yeah, I've been following it along because it's cool, but I haven't been seriously following it except a little bit of prep for the first near orbital space flight test right so mm -hmm. when whether it's sn20 or a later version actually does the boca chica to a hawaii the long way round, yeah. right uh i've done a little bit of math to figure out exactly what the orbit is likely to be where it's going to pass over things like that um and uh and you know the conclusion is that it's not going to be quite orbital in that the perigee of the orbit, the low point of the orbit, is going to be at about 50 kilometers, which is, you know, above the ground, but in the atmosphere still. So it probably won't get, for example, uh, a Space Force catalog number. That, then that's when I think it gets interesting. When they really fly, they show that they can fly super heavy and Starship on a near orbital trajectory. Right. And then the next level is a proper orbital trajectory and the next level is bringing the bringing both pieces back intact yeah and if they can do that that's the day right when both super heavy and starship land back on earth intact and reusable after having been in orbit uh, and not like half-assed orbit, but proper orbit with the perigee above the atmosphere. Because that's when you'd say, can you survive the proper re-entry heating and, and still fly at the end of it, <laughs> right? That I think is the day when, when I go, okay, the world has changed. Starship is gonna change uh, uh, space travel. Hopefully that's not so far off. The uh, regulatory process has really come down on them a bit. And, uh, and so I think, you know, we might get the partial orbit flight test by the end of the year. All right, fine. I'll address the elephant in the room. I am wearing crazy Halloween contacts because we are still in the month of October. We're almost in November. We'd like to see a launch in November, but I figured, you know, why not go crazy and, and wear the cat eyes? So also, I'd like to know what you guys think. It's kind of cool wearing these, um, crazy contacts. I've always wanted to wear them and uh, they're quite fun. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you guys for tuning in. And obviously we're so excited. We hope we're crossing our fingers that we get to see that orbital launch attempt sooner than later. But it sounds like a lot of this is riding on uh, public opinion and getting more comments submitted. So if you have time to do that, give it a go. And I'm also curious for those of you who have submitted comments, what have you said? I love reading your comments and hearing your feedback. Thank you everyone who's tuning in. I have some exciting stuff coming up, including an interview with Marcus House that I can't wait to share with you. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.